Hello friends, I'm Oom and today I'm gonna tell you the best Linux distros for your low-end PCs. And I must say, today's Linux distros are crazy. And in the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus. So, let's get started. You might have wondered why there are so many Linux distros in this world. Well, it is because every distro is made to serve a specific purpose or work. And that is why I have divided this video into three sections. And in each section, I'm gonna tell you the best Linux distros of that category. And in the end, I'm gonna tell you a Linux distro which serves all three purposes, like an all-in-one distro. And let's start with the best Linux distros for professionals. You see, if you are someone who does coding, development, video editing, graphics designing, all that stuff, then the best Linux distro for you is Arch Linux with a Window Tiling Manager. You know Arch Linux is the most popular and powerful Linux distro of all time. And when you combine it with a nice Window Tiling Manager and apply a rice or a theme, then you get the most beautiful and amazing operating system running on your low-end PC, giving you twice as performance than Windows. And it does not matter how bad your CPU is or how much RAM you have, Arch will give a new life to a computer. And if you don't know what a rice is, then let me give you an example. You see, all those desktops are just rices, or I should say customizations of those window tiling manager. But if you want something simple and minimal, then let me present you Mokekino OS. I know this sounds absurd. You see, Mokekino OS is a minimum Linux meta distribution, which focuses on minimalism and high security protection. The desktop is clean, elegant and very responsive and it is based on Gen 2. Well, let's not get too technical with it and let's move to the next section of this video, gaming. And the best Linux distro for gaming is Chimera OS. You see, Chimera OS is a Linux distribution which provides out-of-the-box Steam Deck system to play games directly on your computer without the need of settings and hassling with codecs and drivers. It gives you the ability to just plug and play whenever you want. But you must have a gamepad and a little power to your GPU to play decent games, you know, all those AAA titles. What I can guarantee you is that you will definitely get more FPS than Windows. And if you don't have a gamepad and a dedicated graphics card and just want to play some retro games, for you, I have Lucka OS. Again, it sounds absurd. It's a lightweight Linux distro which transforms any small computer into a full-blown retro gaming console. It is built on the top of famous Retro Arch emulator and it is made for retro gaming only. So you cannot play AAA titles on it. You know, older games like PS1, PS2, PPSS, PP, all that stuff. And if you have a very old hardware lying around, 
you can use it as a retro console. But if you ask me, PPSSPP emulator is a lot better than that. I just had to tell you cause you know retro gaming is still popular and someone might just have a PC lying around for retro gaming. You know consequences meets opportunity. But let's say again you want something simple in your life and want a proper desktop for gaming and other stuff. For them we have Nubara Linux. It is based on Fedora and comes with all the drivers and codecs pre-installed and gives you out of the box lightweight experience which will result in better FPS on games. And now let's move to the next section of this video. Best list is to for day to day tasks and that is to just might be elementary OS. If you have asked me which is the best list is to around 15 years ago then I would definitely say elementary OS and that is still true for lower hardware. It's a lightweight list distribution based on Ubuntu LTS and it is made in a thoughtful, capable and ethical manner to meet the needs of a user using Linux in his day-to-day -day life. And it uses Pantheon as its desktop environment. And I must tell you that this OS will make your old PC work like a MacBook. Not practically but the speed of this distro will make you feel that experience. But what if you want a little more traditional desktop? Then I have Linux Mint, also known as the King Kong of Linux. The most stable list is to ever meet with a mindset to provide the best Linux experience to users using Linux. It is based on Debian and Ubuntu and provides 3 tasty flavors which you can choose as per your desire and achieve the full potential of your PC. And here ends the video. But here yeah, I promised you to give you a bonus. So the best Linux is to which serves all those purposes and categories and fulfills you every need on a Linux system will just might be Linux Mint Debian Edition. It's a special edition which filters all the flaws and mistakes along with Ubuntu and delivers the most stable, responsive and immersive experience on Linux. I guess that explains everything. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for daily dose of awesome X content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I am Oom, signing out.